in the name of God the lover, God the beloved, and God the love that unites us all. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. What a glorious and beautiful day it is to worship together this morning as we witness this celebration and blessing of the marriage of my fellow deacon Dave Blakely and Bruce Makeda. I will say that I really love this practice that Mother Joe and Clifton Mann brought to this church of having a wedding or a blessing of a marriage be a part of Sunday service. In fact, Mother Joe and Cliff were married in a, on a Sunday service here, and then 30 of us, uh, our parishioners, joined them on their honeymoon to go to Ireland for our trip. <laughs> that was some honeymoon. We did give them a little alone time. Sometime later, Mother Miriam and Corey had their civil marriage blessed at a Sunday service as well. I mean, why wouldn't that be a part of church worship? To be witnessed and blessed by the church family and the church community. One of the many things I love about our faith tradition, the one I am so grateful that has formed me from my birth, is that what we do is we bless. We sanctify, we consecrate everything. I mean, y'all, we are in the blessing business. Not only are the simple elements of bread and wine consecrated into the most blessed body and blood of Jesus Christ each Sunday at this altar, we bless the water before baptism. We bless our animals as we commemorate the Feast of St. Francis. We bless the creche as we celebrate the first service of Christmas. I've been to Episcopal services where crops were blessed for a fruitful harvest. I had my home blessed by our beloved Bishop Quarterman, where, of course, he was fully vested. He led us in a procession from room to room with a prayer and a blessing in each room. And yes, even the bathrooms. I'm telling y'all, we bless everything. <laughs> and if there isn't a liturgy for it in the Book of Common Prayer or the Book of Occasional Services or other liturgies approved by our church, our priests make up something. Reverently, of course, to suit the occasion. But that's what we do. We bless. Dave and Bruce are coming together before this community to have their union blessed. After 20 plus years together, it seems like a long time coming, as the invitation said in that beautiful font, finally. <laughs> but that road wasn't linear, and it hasn't been easy for them to be able to do that. And frankly, in the church I described whose purpose is to bless this same church didn't allow a union such as theirs to be blessed until just 2015, just seven years ago, which was at the same time, thankfully, when the Supreme Court recognized such unions under federal law. Yet this tradition that I love so dearly, it wrestled, it discerned, it prayed, sometimes it argued, but it evolved and responded in the most loving way and said, yes, we are going to extend the church's blessing to unions of loving, committed people in a variety of living situations. Because that's what we do. We bless. We bless because we love, and we love because God loved us. Jesus said very clearly in John's Gospel reading that Dave and Bruce selected, there are no conditions. Jesus said very clearly, this is my commandment, my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Jesus broke all the rules. He ate with the unclean. He sat with the defiled. He cured those who didn't deserve it. And he did it not because he sought the approval of the community, not because it was the way they had always done things, not expecting anything in return, he simply did it because he loved them unconditionally. Jesus didn't just say, love those who think like you. Jesus didn't just say, love those who look like you. Jesus didn't just say, love those who live like you. He loved them all, and he commands us to do the same. 
And not only that, just as in the epistle reading chosen for today, it says God is love and those who abide in love abide in God and God abides in them. And even that word abide is, is a level of intimacy that only we can have with our Father. And the same level of int intimacy when we join two souls together in marriage. We love because God first loved us. Not only do we recognize that God is love, God in the form of Jesus Christ, the Christ whose resurrection we celebrated just a week ago, taught us how to love without condition, without restraint, with reckless abandon. And he calls each one of us to do the same. And as we do, we are all blessed, we are all sanctified, and we are all consecrated. And as we do, we bring blessing and sanctification and consecration to the rest of the world that needs it so, so badly. Bruce and Dave, I am so honored to be a part of this today. And I love y'all, and I wish y'all so many years of happiness together. And I'm so grateful for this day for y'all. As I said, y'all, we are in the blessing business and because what we do is bless, we are gathered today to pray God's blessing upon the marriage of Dave and Bruce and celebrate the love they have for each other. We honor and celebrate their love as we are reminded of Jesus' commandment to love all others without condition, without restraint, and with reckless abandon. Amen.